How you doing guys? Um, everybody loves a mac and cheese, don't they? Um, I'm going to put a little twist on mine. I'm going to be using my favourite mushrooms of all time, black trumpets. They're fruity, they're smoky, and they cook really fast as well. And if you can't find any, just use normal mushrooms. I'm going to call this mac and cheese the black and blue because black for black trumpets, and I'm going to be using some fantastic, beautiful gorgonzola, Italian blue cheese. I'm going to be making a Mornay sauce with a little twist and uh, some breadcrumbs for texture. This back and cheese turned out great. I was really happy with it. It's delicious. Um, so uh, I hope you like it. Check it out. For the Mornay sauce, finely diced onion. Add butter to a pan. When melted, add onion. And cook until soft. Add flour and cook out for five minutes. Add half of your milk and stir until thick. When thick, add the rest. Again, stir until thick. For this recipe, I'll be using a delicious creamy gorgonzola and parmesan. Take off the heat, add gorgonzola and stir until melted. Add parmesan and stir until melted. To finish, add chives. Smoked paprika and Cajun seasoning. Season to taste and put to one side. Also for my mac and cheese, I'll be using black trumpets. A member of the chanterelle family, these little beauties are smoky and rich in flavour. Smash garlic to release flavour. Add olive oil to a hot pan. Add garlic and mushrooms. Followed by a pinch of salt. Cook on a high heat for two minutes, then transfer to a bowl. Next, add pasta to salt to boiling water and cook until al dente. Add pasta to a casserole dish, followed by mushrooms. Mix well and add the sauce. Add olive oil to breadcrumbs and mix. This will make the breadcrumbs golden brown and also give great texture to the dish. Now place in the oven and cook. So there you have it, that is one delicious mac and cheese with a twist that you can make at home for the whole family. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's imperative to get colour on that skin. Pack full of flavour. So right now, transfer your chicken to a tray because we're going to cook it in the oven. Look at that.